What's good, Faith Family? It's your girl, L.A. and Miss Kavatica, and we are rolling. This week, Adventure is taking us out on an 89-mile ride over the river and through the woods to have lunch at Spring Creek Barbecue out in the woodlands of Texas. But listen, any day that you wake up and you can ride your Can-Am Spider, it's a good day, y'all. So I am looking forward to this beautiful, crisp, uh, chilly morning. I got to rock some leather, you know, for the ride. And uh, kickstands was up at 10 a.m. It's about, I want to say, maybe low 60s. So it's a chilly morning for us. But you know what? I will take it because this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm going to rejoice and ride in it. But as always, God put something on my heart and we're going to share it with you. But before I do, um, I think we need to get into this ride.
I thought this would be a beautiful ride to share uh, one of my favorite songs, a song that I wrote back in 2005, which is the one you just heard, I Know. And uh, when I wrote that song, y'all, I was a hot mess mentally and spiritually. But you couldn't tell because as women, we tend to mask our feelings really well. You see, on the outside, I was happy and you know it. But on the inside, I was a hot mess. You see, being a wife and a mother and everyone's go-to had took a toll on me. And having dreams and unfulfilled passions and heart's desires constantly being denied didn't make being a stay-at-home mother any better. You see, the fight with my internal dialogue was wearing me out mentally and spiritually. The, The argument in my head was basically, Why would God give me all these dreams and passions and desires and set them in my heart, deeply rooted in my heart, if he wasn't going to allow them to happen? You see, I had become weary in my well-doing. Being everyone's cheerleader, mentor, motivator, and prayer warrior during the day, and then crying myself to sleep at night because, let's face it, sometimes a person who has been there for everyone else also need someone there for them as well. And I truly felt God had forsaken me. And so in the midst of sitting down one night, getting ready to write him one of these tell-off letters, you know, in my mind, I'm going to write him a letter and tell him about himself, how hard done by I was. So I picked up a piece of paper and a pencil and sat down in the middle of my floor. And God, in his loving kindness, spoke the words to this song to me. So instead of me telling him off, he addressed my issues. And I am so appreciative and grateful for the fact that God in his loving kindness didn't strike me down that night, <laughs> but he decided to answer those thoughts and questions that I didn't even want to verbalize or or fix my mouth to say to him he spoke to me and so I love this song and it's one of 12 that God would later inspire me to write and to put into a CD project entitled I'm Safe a project um, a CD project that's based on man's three stages of relationship with God because let me tell you something whether you believe in him or not We all have a relationship with him, whether it's a a broken relationship or a restored relationship or a right relationship. And so God allowed me to write some music and to work with producers and musicians and, and come up with a collection of songs based on where we are in our relationship with him. And so that particular song is in a category of broken relationships because I can be honest and just say I was in a broken relationship with God and in his loving kindness he showed me mercy and grace and extended to, and extended me more love than I, I, I probably should have been shown because <laughs> let me tell you baby I was mad with him but man I am so blessed that he decided to speak a word into my heart and bless me with that song. And one of my favorite lines in that song is, if you could only hear the song I wrote for you, you wouldn't change a line of what you've been through. And I'm telling you, those words right there have stuck with me from day one. And it has blessed me and encouraged me. And so I just want to encourage you that, um, you know, if you having a pity party and you think that God has forsaken you or forgotten about you, he hasn't heard your prayers, you've been praying and you've been hoping and believing and having all kinds of faith of mustard seeds and God still hasn't shown himself mighty in your situation. Understand this. He sees, he hears and he knows and you are not forgotten, nor are you forsaken. And so I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, You know, I think the more that I ride my Can-Am Spider and the more that I get out in, uh, in nature and just get on the open road, I can see 
all the things that I thought, you know, God had forgotten to do for me or or forgotten about me in certain areas, I can see that it all came at a perfect time. Everything happens in its perfect time, it has its perfect timing. And so I'm just blessed to know that, that God gives you what you need when you need it. If he had gave me all the things that I thought I should have had when I thought I should have had them, I would not have been ready for them. But at the age of 56 and riding on the open road, having raised my children, and now I'm a grandmother, and now I can enjoy my life on the open road with my husband and with like-minded riders and, and people who love Uh, their families and their faith and their freedom on the open road, it is a blessing, a tremendous blessing. And so I just want you to be encouraged and uh, to understand that, hey, he knows, God knows. So be blessed, be blessed. So here we are arriving at Spring Creek Barbecue, which is located out in the woodlands of Texas. I think they have about several locations throughout Texas, but we ended up having lunch at this one because um, the ride that the ride basically ended in this area, and you know it was a nice central location for everybody to get back out to their neck of the woods where they live. But um, yeah, we had a wonderful 89 mile chapter ride um, out through Sam Houston State Forest uh, State Park and. I think we did cross the river, you know, didn't see grandmother's house or anything like that, but we went over the river and through the woods. And now it's time to get some grub, to get some food, some Texas barbecue for what it's worth. And uh, like I said, this, I think this was the second ride that we have done since the cancellation of the spring vacation ride to the Ozarks. Um, if you watched my video before this one, um, you know, you know that ride was canceled and everyone was kind of heartbroken, but we understand that uh, God's timing is perfect and we will ride that ride at some point. But today was not that day. <laughs> this is a different ride. But uh, yeah, listen, I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my channel. As always, you know that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And because of that, we can ride the good ride of faith. Now, keep your head up, keep your faith intact, and know that God sees, He hears, and He knows. I love you. Stay safe out there. Godspeed. I've done that I can't tell you how many times.